Location, privacy, and spectacular views make these two homes an incredible package. Situated in Sandy Hook and with a view that looks up the Seashelf Inlet, 6129 and 6133 Coracle Drive provides two separate homes, two separate docks and a combined 285 feet of waterfront. These are two legal lots, each with their own individual title. The main home has over 3,700 square feet spread over three stories, each with their own incredible inlet views. Decks with glass railings run the full length of two of the three levels. Inside, you'll find a gourmet kitchen, two wood-burning fireplaces, and even a workshop. Just across the driveway is a path that leads down to a well-maintained A-frame cabin. Nestled in the trees, this A-frame has a deck of its own as well as a set of steps that lead down to a second dock. Placed roughly halfway between the two homes is a detached shop that's perfect for projects or storing your toys. Seashelf Inlet is an outdoor enthusiast's paradise. The inlet is lined with a number of boat access only provincial parks and is also home to wildlife like eagles, otters and Pacific white-sided dolphins. Seashelt Inlet is typically 5 to 10 degrees warmer than the open ocean. It's sheltered and perfect for kayaking, crabbing and prawn fishing. You're a 10 minute drive to the shops and restaurants of nearby Seashelt. This is where you'll find amenities like the Seaplane Terminal and Seashelt Hospital. The BC Ferries Langdale Ferry Terminal that connects you to West Vancouver is about 35 minutes away. Let's go back to Coracle Drive and explore these two homes. At the bottom of the steep driveway and to our left is the main home. There's lots of parking out front and a set of stately double doors that open to the foyer. Immediately past the foyer is the living room with the first of this home's two fireplaces. Windows stretch from the floor to the gabled ceiling and let in that incredible inlet view. To our right is the dining room and kitchen. There are tiled floors underfoot and enough room for a large dining room table. The kitchen has five appliances and a large island with a granite top. Past the kitchen is a side entrance that leads back to the driveway and turning right we see a combined laundry and craft room. The walls are lined with closets, cabinets and storage. Crossing through the foyer where we came in, we find this level's powder room. There are tiled floors and a pedestal sink. We circle back to the living room and this time get a better look at that magnificent fireplace. A bar area with its own sink is to our left and in front of us is the master bedroom. The master has his and hers closets, carpeted floors and patio doors that open to the deck. Next up is the luxurious six-piece master ensuite. There are matching vanities, a shower with a glass door and a deep soaker tub built for two that has its own inlet view. Using the sliding doors in the master bedroom, we step outside onto the first of two decks and drink in that spectacular water view. A separate door leads back to the living room. Following the deck shows us a covered barbecue area that overlooks your dock and seashelf inlet. Moving down a level, we arrive in the family room that has a bar sink and another fireplace. Sliding glass doors open to the home's second deck. The view from this level is equally impressive. Following the deck to our right, we come to a sunken hot tub and steps that lead down to the dock. Turning around, we go to the opposite end of the home and step back inside using the second bedroom's sliding doors. This bedroom's a good size and has its own closet. Right next door is bedroom number three. Like its neighbor, there's a closet and a view of Seashelf Inlet. Passing the family room, we visit this level's three-piece washroom. There's a big vanity and a shower with a glass door. 
Here's a room you probably don't have in your house. It's an impeccably organized workshop with a water view. At the end of the hall is a door that opens to the home's attached garage. Back in the main floor living room, we climb a flight of stairs to the top floor office. Here on the top floor, we see a large home office and more of those fantastic water views. Be inspired by the beautiful seashell inlet while sitting at your desk. Leaving the main house, we cross the driveway and find the path that leads to the A-frame cabin. The cabin's main living space would now be called Open Concept. To the right of the kitchen and the wood stove is a short hallway that leads to a bedroom as well as a three-piece washroom. There's a rustic feel to the cottage, but it's been exceptionally well cared for. A ladder in the kitchen leads to the loft, which has its own wonderful inlet view. The A-frame has its own deck that overlooks the water. There's also a set of steps that lead down to this property's second dock. Roughly halfway between the main house and the A-frame is the detached shop. Fill it with tools and projects or use it as a place to keep your toys. This is truly a one-of-a-kind listing. It's a legacy property to be passed down to your children and your children's children. Two separate homes, two separate docks, and 285 feet of waterfront make this home exceptionally desirable and exceedingly rare. There'll be interest from all over the world in this one, so hurry and contact Realtor Bob Mitcher today before it's off the market.